a surprising cause of depression. I want you to know that depression affects 150 million worldwide. It is a significant problem. In diseases, it is only second to heart disease. They did some research years ago and they found in 1887 that there was a connection between mental health and inflammation. In fact, the guy who did the discovery won the Nobel Peace Prize years later. So, the cause of inflammation is a mood-altering pathway. It is a biological problem more than just a mental problem. Mood disorders are linked to inflammation, and let me show you why. Number one, depressed people have higher inflammatory markers. High C, higher C-reactive protein, higher SED rate. Those with inflammatory diseases have greater depression. And drugs that cause inflammation increase the risk of depression. Like vaccines. We know vaccines cause inflammation and they are connected with depressive symptoms. In fact, after vaccines, these depressive symptoms can last for 10 years. 10 weeks. We know that toxins also affect this inflammatory response pathway. They decrease your mood. There is less of a reward, feel-good signal in your brain. And how do they know that? They have done imaging studies where they inject some toxins and look at your reward pathways and they don't work like they should. Depression is an inflammatory disease. So, class, does inflammation have a factor with the diet you eat? What do you think? Yes. Here's a study. 43,000 women without depression followed for 12 years. And the conclusion of the study was this. Those with inflammatory diets had more depression. Inflammatory diet pattern is associated with higher depression. But where does that inflammation come from in the body? Studies now show that there are two specific things that an inflammatory diet can do to cause inflammation. Number one, oxidative stress, and we've learned about that in the delivery system. And number two, autoimmune response triggering inflammation and that is your defense system. Are you seeing that these things all go back to a malfunction in one of your system that can start with a diet? So drugs can lower inflammation. When they do that, do they improve mood? Yes, they can. Now that's obviously not the best thing to do because along with drugs comes a host of side effects. So good food lowers inflammation and improves moods. And what foods do you think, class? Very <laughs> good. Fruits and vegetables, kale at the top of the list. So I want to encourage you. The real answer for depression is to decrease inflammation by fixing your seven systems. And you can do that by following the seven systems plan.